So I turned professional in 2011 under the tutelage of uh, Peter Smith, my head trainer, and uh, had my first professional fight with him. And now we're up to our 30th professional fight and we've been together ever since. So it's been a great journey and uh, I think there's lots more to come. So there's always challenges. I think uh, the challenges of staying disciplined all the time, the challenges of facing adversity. You know, I've had a loss in my career, so I had to face adversity. And I've came through that adversity and I haven't lost in the last eight years. So I think it's, there's a lot of adversity in things in, in terms of like boxing. You know, it's, it's a, boxing is a career of lots of ups and downs. So I'm very positive and right now we're riding that up wave. I don't, I don't worry about lack of sponsorship. I've, I've got good uh, uh, blue chip brands behind me and super sport as well. Uh, all my fights have been televised since 2014. So I've got television. So I'm very fortunate that my promoter and my trainer, Peter Smith, have done a great job. So I've been on, all my fights have been televised since 2014 on super sport. So I can't speak, I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for other boxers. So we're fortunate that way. I felt, obviously I lost, right? But I wasn't sad or anything. It was just a learning curve. I didn't lose, like I never got knocked out. I lost on points. Um, and it was a very close contested fight. So what did I learn from it? I learned that uh, you need to be a dog in there. You need to be, have a different mindset and, and, and obviously the skills. And um, I allowed that guy to beat me because I just wasn't applying myself in that aspect. But that was 2014, you know, we, like I said, fast forward eight years now. And I avenged that loss, but that loss was good for me because it created a different mindset. It made me hungry. I think it happens to a lot of fighters. It's very hard to stay undefeated your whole career. Very few can do that, like guys like Floyd and those guys. Very few. You sometimes have the greatest in the world that have had losses. Muhammad Ali has lost fights. Uh, Klitschko's lost fights. You know, you've got to look at that. And that fight was a very big learning curve for me. You either lose or you learn. And I took the learning aspect out of it. I want to become a world title challenger. I want to challenge for the world title. Uh, right now, I'm winning all the belts from the governing bodies that are like intercontinental belts, you know. It's a step to the world title, but I want to become a world title challenger. Whoever it is, I want to challenge for the world title from South Africa. The last South African to do it was Corey Saunders in 2002. It's quite a while ago. So... It's just a goal for me and to, to make South Africa proud and I represent South Africa so for me to become a world title challenger is history on its own. There's multiple fighters that I look up to. If we look at the bigger guys, you know, um, Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield for me because they were relatively small heavyweights. Mike Tyson's a goat, he's a great small heavyweight and Evander Holyfield was a cruiserweight that went up to heavyweight and did really well very busy fighter and that's what, kind of what I have to be. I have to be busy, I have to be explosive, I have to be dynamic. And I look at those guys and, and what they achieved in the sport is remarkable. So I do look up to Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson.